Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited for today's video because we are celebrating something extremely exciting and that is finally being monetized on YouTube. Like, I'm just so excited. Like, this is literally crazy, a dream come true. So I just want to say thank you to all of you. I love you guys. You guys have made this happen and I just, I couldn't be more grateful for your time and all of that because it truly means so much to me that I'm able to do this and entertain you guys and give you guys book recommendations and all of that. And it's just so much fun. And so we are doing a little book shopping today because why not celebrate and treat ourselves just a little bit today. So we're going to go ahead, go to Barnes and Noble, like always, because why not if they don't have the like book selection that I'm going for, because I know, I know you're going to be like, you were just there like the other day. And I was, I definitely was, but I only bought one book. Okay. So I thought it was fair enough to treat myself this time. So if Barnes and Noble doesn't have the like selection that I'm thinking we may go to like another bookstore and see what they have the only thing is I've realized so the other store is books a million and I've realized that they're a little bit more expensive sometimes than Barnes and Noble which is like surprising I don't know why they would be more expensive that was just on like some books that I was looking for they were like two dollars more so that may or may not be a thing, but we're going book shopping regardless. So we're going to have a great time. And again, thank you so much for all of it. Like it is just crazy. It's amazing. Let's go celebrate. Let's go. <laughs>
haven't come to this bookstore before because I am like just in shock like this beats Barnes and Noble like so much and I don't know why I haven't been here and I'm just I'm so excited I'm like so so excited and I found a book that Barnes and Noble hadn't had for like ever and it's like a very talked about book that I've been dying to read and they have it and I'm literally like I'm freaking out that's all Okay, so we just did a ton of damage and I have so many books to show you, to talk about, and I think I'm just going to do a car thing because by the time I get home it's going to be super dark. So let's get into all the books that I bought because I feel like I did really good this round and every single book I'm just extremely excited to read and to kind of get to know the world and all that because there's some books I've been eyeing for a really long time but they're low-key like intimidating to me for some reason so I'm super excited that I finally got the courage to pick them up and to read them and I'm gonna show you now so let's go ahead let's talk about all the books I got from Barnes & Noble first this book I actually don't really know what it's about but I thought the cover was cool and this is one that I kind of went in there didn't think I was actually gonna get but ended up getting and that is Ninth House and I believe the second book just came out recently unless this is the second book I don't know but I'm pretty sure this one is the first book I really don't know what it's about the only thing that really got me was the end and it's basically like this student arrives to this or arrives to Yale and they get like a full scholarship to the school and so while they're there there's eight windowless tombs are the well-known haunts of the rich and powerful from high-ranking politics to Wall Street's biggest players but their occult activities are more sinister and more extraordinary than any paranoid imagination might conceive. They tamper with forbidden magic, they raise the dead, and sometimes they prey on the living. I read that and was like, sold immediately! And it was on the buy one, get one half off. So I thought, why not? And I've heard a lot of people talk about the second book that they really, really, really like it. I, I'm excited for this one. It's a fantasy, I believe. So I'm super excited for that one. And then another one that was on the table did not think I was going to be getting is maybe in the month of your life by taylor jenkins reed i read one true loves by her and was absolutely like in love with her like i love her writing everything about it and so i've been wanting to read a lot more books that she has but sometimes like i'm not in the mood but this one i read the back and i was like oh my goodness like i need to read that and it's basically this girl hannah and she goes back to like her old town i think or something like that yeah to her hometown where her like best friend is and while they're out in town or whatever she meets a guy or her high school boyfriend and she's like well do i ride back home with him or do i go back with my best friend and basically it's in con current storylines where she lives out the effects of each decision and i just thought that was a wild concept and so i was like i need to get on this so i'm very hopeful 
school for this one. I don't really know what people's thoughts are on it. If you've read it and you love it, let me know. Help me to read it, that sort of thing, because I just feel like this is going to be a good one. And then this is one that I've literally eyed every single time I've gone into Barnes & Noble. But I just, I think it's the size and just the story kind of... Like, I'm scared that I'm either going to hate it or it's just going to take me way too long to read. And that is Pack and Co. Please don't hate me because I probably should have went on TikTok to figure out what, how, how you say this. So, um, yeah, that's that. But the storyline is just like, something that's just intrigued me so much sometimes I read like I read the bag and I'm like wait what but what I think it's about it's I'll just read like the last part because I'll probably like ruin it so basically it is from the bustling street markets to the halls of Japan's finest universities to the this word um I really need to Google that stat. Okay, parlors of the criminal underworld. Lee's complex and passionate character, strong, stubborn woman, devoted sisters and sons, fathers shaken by moral crisis, survive and thrive against the indifferent arc of history. And it goes through four generations of poor, proud, and immigrant family fight to control their destinies exiled from a homeland they never knew and there's like some other things in here um that I just I really wanted to know about it's just a fictional story and I just wanted to kind of get into that and I feel like this one I've just seen so much and not like around TikTok or anything but just like every time I go into Barnes and Noble every time I go into a bookstore this is there and I'm like, I need to figure out what you are about. So that is that one. And then I got a really popular one. Do I need to say anything else? I've heard so many people just like say this just shakes them to their core and need to be like built up again. And sometimes I just want to read a book like that. And so I've heard to be cautious with reading this one, that it's very emotional and all that. So I just wanted to see for myself what it's about. And then I really, really wanted to go in and go for like a Maria, Maria, Mariana Zapata. I think that's her first name. A Zapata book you know, slow burn. I wanted to try to see if I could really, really, you know, dig into some slow burns if I like it. I haven't really read a slow burn yet, so I just wanted to try it, but I, they didn't really have any of her books. So I remember watching a TikTok and they talked about this author. And so I've been seeing it for a while and wanted to get it. And that is K.A. Tucker, The Simply Wild. When she was born, her mom took her away from Alaska, moved because her mom was like, I'm not doing this anymore. And basically was said, don't worry about your dad. Like we don't care about him anymore. And so they moved, but now she's older. And I think, I believe he gets sick. So she goes back to her hometown to take care of her dad and try to fix that relationship. Right. And while she's there, there's also this guy who is in charge of her dad's like pilot company or pilot operational company not too sure but he's a pilot okay and they kind of you know I believe they get into like a relationship or they start to form a relationship and now she's back in the position of her mom where is she gonna do what exactly what her mom did and leave Alaska leave him dump him whatever that sort of thing so it's like what is she gonna do um so that just sounded really cool. If that was the worst explanation, please go read it because I read the back and I was like, that sounds like the best book ever. So I picked that one up and because I really liked that one and I've heard good things about the author, I wanted to pick up another one by her and I read this back first and was like, 
Oh, she also wrote this book. So I'm going to pick up this one and this one. And it is Say You Still Love Me. And it's basically, I don't know if it's like second chance romance or like the one that got away they basically like were together but then separated and it's like are we gonna get back together i believe i'm not entirely sure but she reconnects with her first love the boy who broke her heart and so i just read a book and it was kind of like that and i just wanted more of that type of trope and so i feel like this would be the perfect one and i'm really excited about this one that is all I got from Barnes and Noble. And then I went to Books A Million. Let me put these away. So while I was at Books A Million, I was like shocked when I first went in. And then like, as I started looking, they had a ton of like old books, but like mixed in with newer ones. And then I like started to get really sad because they really only had like one good shelf or like section. And that was like the front of the store that had some things but they had a lot of really good knickknacks and stuff like that but i think i was like in there for an hour just walking around with this book in my hand and that's all i got i'm extremely excited because it is icebreaker i have been like ranting the last like few videos about how barnes and noble still doesn't have this and then i looked on my phone to see if books a million had this in store and it said they didn't it said coming soon so i was like oh, well let's see what they have whatever right there on that table. I snagged this so fast. I probably should have just bought it and left because that's literally like, uh, I'm just, this will probably be my first read. I don't know. This is just, I'm just so excited for this one. It's, it's not too big. I feel like it's going to be a fast read and people have been like raving about this sports romance. I've been obsessed with a hockey specifically romances lately and they're just so cute. I love it. So I'm extremely excited about this one. Everyone loves it. So I just want to dip my toes in and see what it's about. But yeah, that is the end of my little book haul. I absolutely love doing these. I love trying new books, seeing what's out there and all of that. And so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And again, thank you so much for all of this for subscribing. And if you haven't yet, go ahead subscribe we'll have fun we're like we're chill over here we're just hanging out so thank you guys again and i hope you guys have a wonderful day wonderful week and i'll see you guys somewhere else Bye.